Well, I was interested in whether or not I was going to get blown up by an H-bomb prior to uh, Lolita. My uh, interest intensified itself sort of concurrently with that. I believe that the Berlin crisis took place during uh, Lolita. And about that time, I became keenly interested and started reading up on all the, you know, literature. I would say I pretty much read the spectrum. The thing that struck me most of all about it was that all these things lead to very paradoxical outcomes. And uh, I suppose this was the most thematically obvious thing about Dr. Strange Love was the uh, paradoxical outcome of any particular line of thought. I never stop working on a script. I like to work with somebody else because under the time pressures that you're under, you can't afford the sort of uh, lapse of intensity that if you work by yourself, you might suffer. Terry came to uh, interview me for uh, Show Magazine uh, shortly before I was leaving for London to make the picture. I became friendly with him. I had read The Magic Christian and Flesh and Filigree, and I thought he was a terrific writer. And uh, the script was done, and it was done in its black comedy form. Peter Sellers was cast, and uh, I thought Terry was very talented. And uh, Terry seemed like an ideal person because the um, style of the uh, script was similar, you know, to his sense of humor. So about six weeks before the picture started, I asked him if he wanted to come over here and work on it with me and do some more dialogue and revision. And he came over, he worked for six weeks, and that was it. Film directing, I think, is a misnomer for uh, anybody that seriously wants to make films because directing the film is only, you might say, one-third of the uh, process. You know, writing the film, directing the film, and then editing the film is, you might say, the whole job. You know, I do the cutting myself. With the exception of a few directors, most people have their film edited by film editors as they go along. And then when the film is done, they look at the film and dictate some notes about it, and the film editor tries to do what they say, and then maybe they look at it again, and they do it again. But if you really want to do it right, you must do it yourself, you know, piece by piece. So I think by now I have enough sort of ability to imagine the uh, way a scene will come out so that I can tell without editing the material if I have enough film coverage and, you know, what I can do with it. And then I, I edit the film with the editor myself when I'm all finished. But Dr. Strangelove, I was very pleased with the film. It happened to also be a very successful film commercially.